I love it. I'm watching the comments here, and and Laz is is trying to spark the debate. Uh, he's he's uh, just he's trying to light up. the fire. He, he, yeah, he's trying to light the fire. I love it because uh, uh, this is a fun one, right? So <laughs> you get in there, use VI, Vim, or even better, a remote IDE like VS Code or Sublime. <laughs> I know so many people that are going to take exception with that. So Laz, there you go. I put it out publicly so everyone can see that you said it. If you want, go to him. I didn't say it. Mm-hmm. Although mm-hmm. I will say I do all of my development in IDE and I don't do it in VI or Vim. Uh, I can, I, I, whatever, I, I'm not a purist like this. Um, it's just one of those things that uh, uh, I, I don't understand. I feel like it's gatekeeping. I, let's just, here's another interesting topic. We're going to go all night, Tony. Like we keep coming up with great things to talk about. <laughs> but uh, um, there's, it, I feel like sometimes we have these gatekeeping things in in in, in technology and networking is is not unique in this. I think it's across all disciplines, but it's like you know, like you know, real men do it this way. Um, and here's my take: uh, real engineers get the job done. End of story. Use the tools that get the job done. Like if you're awesome with with VI or Vim and that's what you want to do, more power to you. I don't have any problem with you using the tool that you're comfortable with. But IDEs are good too, right? They're great tools. They offer a lot. And there are pros and cons to both. I get that. Just like anything else, every decision you make is a trade-off. But like, why, why, why do we have to go out there and like say, oh, you're new? You should definitely learn the hardest tool possible. You should definitely do the thing <laughs> where they've made whole websites teaching you how to use it. Because it's that hard to learn it, and and it's archaic and abstract and not common. Now, once you learn the 4,000 shortcuts you need to know, you can be super efficient in it. Absolutely, 100% true. Or you could go use this IDE, which gives you nice color coding, which tells you exactly what's going on, gives you hints to when things are wrong, like all of these things. And and, and like somehow... Was was that thing you were talking about, was that thing you were just talking about, was that VI... Vi Vim, yes. The thing yes. about the the yeah the, the all the four thousand shortcuts, yeah, the, shortcuts the, the to joke, do something. The joke that you know, like <laughs> you know, you go in and and everyone gets stuck leaving because no one knows how to exit it. You know, I've been in there for twenty seven years. Yeah, I yeah, just yeah. have never left because it's it's it, you know like because like to get out of it, I have to type this specific code. And again, there's nothing wrong with that. Like I'm a CLI guy. I'm used to going in and doing those things. I've learned how to do it, and yes, it is a good tool. I use it all the time. Um, I'm not even going to go down that road, but, uh, but like I use it all the time. It's, it's great. And then when it's there and it's something that you as an engineer should learn at least the basics of, because there are going to be times when you don't have the ID available to you. So if you want to be a good engineer, getting the job done means learning a bit about the archaic tool that's only available to you. That, but if you have an ID available to you, why not use it? Like, why not use all the stuff that comes with it? So anyway, I won't, uh, I won't, uh, I won't continue down and belabor the point, and I think I just took heat off a of last because I definitely became the voice of that one. But it's something that bothers me. Like, pick the tool that you want, but there's no... Uh, don't gatekeep for the rest of the community and say that, like, you've, you've got to do this because it's the only way to do it right. That's garbage. It's just nonsense. Yeah. So if there's a clip for this one, yeah, that's no, it. That, that's, my, right. that's my rant. I'm going to go sta- stand on my soapbox. <laughs> so 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 one of the so one of the things my coworkers like to do is is on these VI Vim Nano uh, Pico arguments. We we do it just for fun, just to get our blood pressure up. And uh, and uh, I first of all, I'm a lover of Nano. Okay, and the reason is Nano that was the, is a that was text the road editor. the the that Listen, was the road I was not going to go you. down. Well, hang on a second. <laughs> let me tell you. Make this the clip. Nano is a text editor. And when I want to edit text, I use a text editor. VI is like a whole freaking operating system <laughs> disguised as a text editor. Oh, okay? that's great. I don't need to learn a new operating system to write a couple of char- ASCII characters in a text file. All right, just give me Nano. Okay, but here's the joke that my coworkers like to do. They go through the Linux systems, they uninstall Nano, and they create a Elliot Nano and it opens VI. And I freaking hate them. 
Well, first, that is incredibly mean uh, because if you're not paying attention, like control X, control X, it's not doing. Oh, <laughs> right. I love it. Uh, that's yeah. <laughs> so, so first, Laz's comment is down here. I have to come back to it. I loved it, so I'm going to put it up on the screen here. <laughs> he, he he's given the subscription to exit. <laughs> <laughs> so, so there you go um and there's there's a comment here from from ray that says no love for emacs in the chat um no just not ever been my no, thing i, I don't love. have a thing against it it's just not never been my thing um <laughs> i don't know i don't know i'm gonna throw this up here too sick bastards i don't know if that's at us <laughs> <laughs> or if that's in some of the other uh, comments that's in the my chat workers maybe no no no, no, no. Maybe that's oh maybe coworkers. that's it maybe that's it so brandon i want to know who that was who was that was pointed at unless it was to us in which case don't say anything <laughs> oh, yeah oh uh, anyway oh that was but, fun but but yeah i i have i have that argument all the time and um and 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 but you know what you, you're absolutely right jordan Use whatever tool is available to get the job done. Ultimately, at the end of the day, that's what being a successful engineer is about. I, I like to have these arguments just for fun. Um, just get the job done. I really don't care what you use. I don't care you know, if you do know how to exit VI, then good for you. Tell me. Um, but yeah, I mean, Notepad++ is is, is Another great, great tool. You know? yeah. I, yeah, I still write code in Notepad++. I mean, it's no problem. I just put it up here. Yeah, Tony's Brandon did answer. Yeah. It was definitely to your oh coworkers. My God. Thank you, Brandon. Making me feel a little bit better. You, I would like to call out Mark, who I work with. Mark S. You know who you are. You'll see this. <laughs> You're going to send him a link? <laughs> we'll post yeah. it. We'll send him a link to this conversation. Uh, sorry, Mark S. You've just been called out. 